Hey Canada, my name is Evan Roberts. I'm the programming assistant here at the Churchill Northern Studies Centre. Our mission is to understand and sustain the North. Thanks to Innovation 150, uh, a bunch of local youth from Churchill were able to head out onto the sea ice with some experts and some scientists and researchers and take cores and samples of the ice and understand why it's important to our ecosystem and important to Manitoba and Canada as a whole. They used augers and cores to dig down and get really deep samples of the ice and understand a bit more about the role that it plays and why it's important to us uh, as Canadians and especially in the subarctic region here in Churchill. Here's some really cool photos and videos and samples of what the youth got up to out on the sea ice with our scientists and uh, a little bit more about their hands-on experience and what they saw and what they learned out there on the ice. Bay. There's a nice little flow edge. You can see the water there. what you call landfast sea ice. And landfast sea ice is ice that's fastened to the edge of the shore. As you can see, there's the trees, that's the coastline. And of course, into the distance, there is some sea ice far out there. And that's mobile sea ice, so it's continuously moving around, changing. It's actually pretty crazy because that, that sea ice you see far out there was really close. Because of winds, moves around and it's constantly changing. The two main components that you need for algae is light for photosynthesis. Have you guys learned about photosynthesis before? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so you get light from above and nutrients from below in the water column. So they're inhabiting the bottom of the sea ice. Yeah, it would 
take two. what Thanks again for watching. Make sure you stay tuned for more photos and videos coming up after this. I want to give a big shout out as well to Innovation 150 for supporting this project, the Study Center, and all the research that they do and, and the researchers that they support. Make sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at ChurchillNSC, and find us on Facebook at Churchill Northern Study Center.